Hi, I'm Josh Krupp. Welcome to the Pioneer Spotlight, where each week we feature a Point Park Pioneer team, athlete, or coach. This week on the couch here in the Center for Media Innovation Studios, we're joined by the men's and women's cross country head coach, Kelly Parsley. Kelly, thanks for coming down. Hi, thank you for having me. The first repeat guest here on the Pioneer Spotlight. Last time we were here for track and field. And now we're talking cross country. Let's get us all caught up on where we are for the men's and women's teams so far this season with two meets in the books. We'll start on the women's side. Um, we had a, an amazing uh, preseason, the best preseason we've had in school history. We brought in a big recruiting class, so I wasn't sure how the season was going to um, come out early, but um, we're off to a great start. Um, Anna Shields broke the school record right off the bat. Um, she's doing really well. We have a couple of freshmen that are really doing some doing some surprising things. So we're we're looking to be better than we've ever been. And on the men's side, they're off to a good start as well. They are, and um, you know, last year we had a little bit of a hiccup at the conference championships. Uh, this year, I brought back a couple of returning athletes that left Point Park for a small time and came back. That both of those athletes were all conference previously. Um, and so our team is much deeper. We have 22 men on the team, and none of those men are seniors. And back to the women's side, and you mentioned Anna Shields, 17-19 in that first meet. That's tied for the best time in the NAI this year. Where did that come from, and what kind of uh, progression has she had since the end of last season? Well, she obviously had an amazing track season, being our first national champion in school history. But um, she put in a really good summer. Um, she doesn't love cross country, believe it or not. It's hard to tell when she's winning, winning meets, but... Um, she had a goal. That was a very big meet for her. She had never beaten Sarah Berger from Walsh. Um, Sarah Berger is a five-time Division II All-American, and last year was really the only athlete that beat Anna during the regular season in the mile, which is Anna's specialty. So it was kind of interesting to see Anna, who doesn't love cross country as much as track, run against Sarah Berger head-to-head -head and, and actually wasn't really challenged by her the entire race. And Anna now two meets and two NAIA Runner of the Week honors. How far can she go? How good can she be this year? Um, I think she, you know, Anna's capable of doing anything. Um, right now, she does have the fastest time in the NEI along with the defending national champion. She's very good. Um, her name is Aminat from Oklahoma City. She's a very good runner. I'm, I'm curious to see those two run against each other. They did run against each other in the indoor meet, in the indoor mile, and Aminat got the better of Anna right at the end of the, right at the, end of the last um, 40 meters. So I think it, it could be a great race. Um, there are some other women strong in the NAIA, but I feel like um, Anna's definitely going to be among the top, you know, top group in the NAIA championships. And shifting back over to the men's side, Sean Hilverding's leading the way this week, the River States Conference Runner of the Week. How has his leadership benefited the team? Well, he's one of our captains. Um, he's a junior. His, um, what the big difference this year is the summer he put in. Um, he was averaging about 70, 80 miles a week. Um, he really came back more committed than, than ever, and he's looking to do some great things. Last year, again, one of those runners that didn't perform well at the conference meet, um, he tripped and, and, and sprained his ankle during the race. So this year he's coming back with a vengeance. The previous year he was all conference. So he's looking to redeem himself. But I think more than that, he really wants to be in, our, in the top seven in, in the conference meet this year and, and be first team all conference and, and lead the team to nationals. And several guys on your team are under that six minute mile pace in the 8K. How is the entire team developed this year and what makes this team's uh, what makes this team different than the past teams that you've coached here? We have many athletes under that six minute barrier. We had in our first meet, we had 13 guys um, under the 30 minute mark, um, which we've never ever had that many. Um, and the difference between this team is the camaraderie. We do have some great leadership with Bradley Kaleja, who is a junior, Chris Hunt, who is a red shirt junior, and Sean Hilverding leading the way for them as captains. And I think they came back, I, you know, last year we had, again, we didn't do well at conferences, and I think that might have actually helped them because now they've come back even stronger. None of them took a break right after conferences last year, right in the indoor season. We had we dominated the distance events in our conference meet um, and track and field, so I feel like that confidence has really um, moved them forward for this year, and, and they're looking for some, they're looking to, to do more than just, you know, win our conference this year. And the men's and women's teams, you know, they practice together, they travel together, they run together. How would you describe both of their personalities this year? Well, it's funny. We, we do that. We do travel together and we run together, but um, there's still kind of a divide with the men and women. We brought in a lot of women this year, um, a lot of freshmen that are very quiet. Um, so I was worried about that early, but the camaraderie in our team is way better. I mean, it just exceeds my expectations. So um, we do travel together. They all get along really well, but there's still kind of a divide. The men are, you know, boys can be boys and um, they're idiots sometimes, but they're all great kids and very supportive. Anna breaks that barrier because she does train with our men most of the time um, because she's at that level. So she does train with them. 
Usually they don't like when she trains with them because she pushes the pace, but um, <laughs> it's, it is a good camaraderie within both teams. It's just there is a little bit of a divide just because our, um, our women are young and they're kind of, you know, I'm not sure if they're used to co-ed programs, but they're a little um, intimidated maybe or just quiet around boys, you know how girls can be. And finally, how do you set the goals for these two teams? How high do you set them? Do you start them at the national level or do you start backwards and say we want to win conferences first you know it's hard to get it's it's hard to get not get ahead of myself because we do have a very good program this year um on both sides the women we should have won conferences last year we just had so many fluky things happen to us and this year we have by far the best women's program we've ever had on the men's side we have some we have some work to do and we have to make we have to make up for what we did last year coming into the season you know last year we were i think sixth in the conference or fifth we're preseason ranked second i don't know how that happened but um, you know, there's no pressure on us. We, we were six last year again, and we just want to make up for that. And with the group that we have, I know they're, they're so hungry to do better than that and make it to Vancouver because a lot of the kids have never been that far west. So it's exciting that Nationals is in Vancouver, Washington. I think that gives them some extra incentive. Well, that's the finish line is in Vancouver this year for the men's and women's cross country team. Already Walsh and Lebanon Valley, those meets are in the books. Some great success there. They're off this weekend, but then both teams will travel to Lock Haven in a couple weekends. And you can check us out at pointparksports.com and on social media at Point Park Sports to get all the latest updates on the men's and women's cross country teams. Head coach Kelly Parsley, thank you so much for coming down. Thank you, Josh.